Nandini Rubber Incorporators was established in the year 1996 with just three hand operated presses with an annual turnover of 1 million Indian rupees. Presently, the company has grown in leaps and bounds into a world class manufacturing facility with imported automatic hydraulic presses, semi automatic batching systems, and a well equipped in house lab. Rubber Compounding here, we design and establish critical rubber formulations for high-tension applications such as electrical resistivity, fogging resistance, oil, heat, ozone and chemical resistance, RM store and storage. All purchases of rubber and rubber chemicals are stored in a FIFO, meaning first-in, first-out pattern. A cold storage room facility has been allocated for storing where the temperature and humidity of the room are properly controlled and monitored. Chemical Weighing Nandini Rubber is equipped with an automatic weighing system with fully computerized operations for weighing input raw materials, oils and carbon black for zero error of weighing. Kneader Mixing The weighed raw material is then transferred for mixing in the form of kits in the bins which are mixed in the kneader with PLC controls on time, temperature and pressure. The rubber compound in the form of lump is then dumped from the kneader and stored in bins for the onward process of mixing. Mixing mixing mill. Here the rubber compound is refined with curatives with tight roll mixing and is then sheeted out. At Nandini Rubber we follow a unique sequence of mixing with electronically controlled sequence instruments. The mixing mill is equipped with a programmable logic controller to have appropriate control on time and temperature. Water circulation inside the roller is also monitored accurately. Our mixing mill is equipped with safety devices capable of stopping the machine during emergencies and automatically rotating the roller on reverse direction. Mixing mill for color batch. A separate mixing mill is allocated for mixing color batches to eliminate staining of rubber compounds with black spots. Different colors of rubber compounds are mixed, namely green, blue, red, off-white and brown, among others. Aging room. The mixed rubber batches are kept in a cold storage room for aging where the duration of aging is carefully monitored before release for production. Compound inspection in lab. The rubber compounds as specified in the system procedure are tested for hardness, rio, tensile strength and elongation in our in-house lab to ensure a stable process that meets customer specifications and requirements. Blank cutting. Cutting process. Semi-automatic blank cutting machines are equipped in our molding process for tailor-made cutting to prevent blank-to-blank -blank weight variation. This eliminates short filling and excess flash in the molding process. Molding Nandini Rubber Industries is equipped with an imported hydraulic press with a slide-in slide-out automatic opening facility. Critical components such as HD cap, socket cover and grommets with 1.2 mm holes are molded with PLC controls on temperature, time, pressure and number of breathing.
A vacuum press is in place to mold minute critical defect free components. Power backup, two generators of 200 kVA and 160 kVA have been installed to combat power cuts. Tool storage, to facilitate quick and easy retrieval, molds are uniquely identified with tool numbers and location. Extrusion, an in-house facility has been established to make profiles such as rubber tubes, spacers and cords from our extruder. These extruded profiles are kept in autoclave for vulcanization. After removal, the tubes are cut to required sizes with tube cutting machines. Quality control. The molded components are then dimensionally checked as per drawing in our profile projectors, low pressure verniers, pin gauges and go-no-go -no -go gauges to eliminate fitment problems at later stages before it reaches the customer. Deflashing and trimming. All molded components are then sent for deflashing. The trimmings of socket covers are done with the help of socket cover trimming machines, rubber tubes with table cutting machines, grommets and other components come with trimming operators. Post curing. Post curing is done for socket covers and polyacrylic components. Visual inspection. After deflashing and post curing process, the components are visually inspected for defects, if any. Inspection tables are provided with proper lighting of 800 to 1200 lux. Final inspection. Critical components, HD caps, are subjected to high voltage tests as the severity of the components are fixed at high levels. Stores. First in, first out is followed for all rubber, chemicals and also for batches and components. Let us now take a brief look of a varied range of products manufactured by Nandini Rubber that matches world-class standards. The company began its first exports in 2015. Packing. Counting is done with a digitally controlled counting machine as per standard packing quantity. The covers are then packed in carton boxes with a packing slip and are identified with individual customer destinations. Dispatch, an efficient system of logistics that guarantees effective mobilization of manufactured components to its customer destinations. Tool room, the tool room has lathes, milling machines with direct red out attachments surface grinders, drilling machines and polishing tools. Tool room engineers have years of experience in tool use and design. Training. Training conducted at Nandini Rubber depends upon the operator and the staff's competency. Training results are periodically monitored and recorded for effectiveness. Being an ISO TS 16949 certified company, with stringent quality policies, Nandini Rubber follows world-class standards to the letter. A list of satisfied clientele stands true testimony to Nandini's commitment to quality and timely delivery achievements. Nandini Rubber has been recognized by its customers with excellent supplier awards and other quality related awards. Business plan, the company has a vision for the future and has also defined its business plan for the next 10 years. Nandini Rubber Incorporators aims to become a tier one supplier to OMEs of two-wheeler and four-wheeler segments and strives 
to work tirelessly towards increasing its exports to various countries in the world. Nandini Rubber Incorporators